Hi guys, thanks for checking out another Natural Hair Sisters video. In this video, I am showing you how I mud wash or clay wash, whichever one you choose to use, and apple cider vinegar rinse my daughter's hair. I have a video showing how I make my mud wash or clay wash. Um, what I'm doing here is I just parted her hair off into sections and I make a square size section as you can see here and I just run the mud from the scalp to the tips of her hair. Some people don't like to get the mud on the scalp because they say it's hard to get out. But that's what the apple cider rinse um, is for and I'll show you that later on in the video. As you can see I'm just putting the mud on her hair and running it through to my fingers with my fingers. And what I like about this it, it kind of gives you an idea of if you wanted to wear a wash and go. I love the way the clay clump the curls together and it kind of gives you an idea of what a wash and go would look like and all I do is just comb it from root to tip root to tip and then I part off another section and comb it through her hair in this I like the mud wash because it's a gentle cleanse it's not hard it doesn't strip her hair like a clarifying shampoo would her hair is still soft and it makes her curls pop and it's a little messy that's the only I, if there was a downside to this it's a little messy and what I usually do is I just keep towels wrapped around her shoulders and I put towels on the floor in case I spill it but outside of it being messy I really think it's a good cleansing method for your hair um, it's time consuming sometimes depending on how long you leave it in I usually leave it in the hair until the hair is hard I let it harden on the hair I don't know how many people do that but for me that's how I gauge okay it's ready to come out I just kind of let her I put it on her hair and just let her kind of walk around for the day or do whatever she's going to do for the day and I just let it harden and as you can see here I just comb through from root to tips or from wherever I'm detangling from and it just makes her curls pop and as you can see this is a picture of the back that's done now once I comb it through I put the mud wash I have a sufficient amount of mud wash on her hair what I do is I take that section that I'm done with and I twist it this top view is the last section that I had to do I put the mud wash in her hair and I'm combing it through to make sure it's all through her strands from root to tip and that her hair is detangled. That's important that you make sure that the hair is detangled. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to twist her hair and to get it out of her face. Because again, like I said, this can be very messy. So I just like to keep her hair sectioned off into twists. So I just twist her hair up, pin it back, and let it dry. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not twisting it tight as you can see. I'm just twisting it loose enough for it to twist but not tight enough where the mud wash starts to ooze between the twists and things like that. So all I'm doing is pinning her hair back out of her face as you can see um, from the side view. The sides are pinned back and that's it. I'm just going to let her hair dry. That's it. That's all I'm going to do and just let her dry. Then once her hair is dry. What I do is I rinse it out. I untwist all the twists, rinse her hair out, out of her hair really good. I don't really focus on the scalp. I get as much as I can off the scalp, but I don't really focus on the scalp at this time. What I do is I section her hair off, as you can see, into six sections. This is at night. When we started her hair, it was kind of late, so she got tired. So all I did was section her hair off into six sections because I don't want her hair to be tangled. In the morning when I start to cleaner scalp with the apple cider vinegar rinse but if I were doing this all in one day all I would do is um, after I finish the cleansing the clay wash I will go straight into the apple cider vinegar rinse this is the next morning so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up where I left off on last night and that's using the apple cider vinegar rinse now for me I don't use a lot of apple cider because it can burn the scalp so you have to gauge whether your hair is sensitive, I'm sorry, whether your scalp is sensitive or not. For me, I don't put a lot on her scalp. I mix it with water. Um, I may put 
one part apple cider vinegar to four parts water. And I'll put it on her hair and just test a small amount in your hair and let it sit for a minute and see if it starts to burn. If it doesn't, it may be safe, but it will burn. Even though it's vinegar, it will burn if you use too much. It'll start to sting the scalp. So what I'm doing here is I'm just detangling and combing her hair through because I'm going to part it off, part it in smaller sections this time. And I'm going to spray the apple cider vinegar on her scalp. My focus is the scalp at this point. I've already cleansed the hair. Now this part I'm focusing on the scalp because I want to get whatever clay or whatever um, shampoo residue or whatever. I want to get that off of her scalp. Maybe product um, buildup or something like that. I just want to get all of that off of her scalp. So you use the pads of your fingers the pads not your nails because again it will burn if you've never used apple cider vinegar if you scratch your scalp it will burn so you just use the pads of your fingers and keep spraying the spray around the scalp because you're loosening up whatever residue is on the scalp again this can be messy too because it's just liquid but it's okay just put a towel around your neck put a couple of towels on the floor and go ahead and do it now, what I like about this is when you apple cider vinegar rinse, it adds shine. It helps your hair to be detangled easily. So it has its benefits as well. Not only does it clean the scalp, but for me, when I use it, I notice detangling their hair is easier. And their hair has a little more shine. But if you stay tuned, I have another video after I have cleaned their hair with apple cider vinegar. I wash the apple cider vinegar out and do their hair. Stay tuned.